Uh, this is a video about uh, doing some upgrades on these uh, Delta Mini printers. Um, I've actually had an extremely good experience with these. I, ha I own two of them and they've been workhorses since last year. And uh, I've, I've basically there's thousands of hours on this one and this is printer one. I have a second machine uh, in my farm and that's printer 2 and both of these machines have been uh, they've done a lot of work let's call it that but there's a few shortcomings to these machines and uh, as everybody knows I've kept mine mostly stock except for maybe changing the bed material here um, but one of the things that eventually does let go after many hours is this coupling here and instead of just replacing it I'm just gonna adapt one of these to the machine here and probably change the Bowden tube too and uh, I've done it to the other machine that one funny enough that one broke before this one and a uh, simple lathe turning job but one of the things about these machines is there's no on off switch I always have to plug it in and out and uh, I honestly don't like doing that. So to remedy that situation, I bought a switch. Also, I wouldn't mind having a light in here. And after doing some home renovations, I had uh, one of these LED on the cabinet lights left over. And it's fairly bright and probably too bright for this application, but I might put it anyway. And that one's going to get a secondary switch. Small toggle. Um, I'm going with a basically a 20 amp switch here, so this thing is nice and beefy. Or is it 15? That's oh, a 20 amp. And one of the other things that I really like to do on this printer is I'd like to keep track of its hours. So I bought an hour meter. And of course, after many thousands of hours, these bearings not only are they noisy, but I believe they're actually worn out. So I want to try these um, dryland bearings on this and see if they perform any better or any worse. We'll see. So without further ado, let's tear into this. This is what happens after you lube them. The rods they stay clean. There's no scarring. They look brand new. So oh, so far, all the bearings have been replaced. The light, the wiring has been passed. The wiring for the LCD here. Now I have to solder on the pigtail, and then we test out the LCD. I'll be back. Okay, so the LCD is mounted, the cable is in, and uh, it's time to see if it'll let the smoke out or 
this thing will work. Smart config started. I wonder what that is. There's some parts that are not plugged in that I unplugged. Maybe that's a problem. Let's see. Uh-huh. Figured it out. The reset button got caught. Pressed. You take the screws off up here and on this side and on this side as well you can actually spread this apart quite a bit so you can actually fit this back in there and close so this is what the printer will look like thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and uh, if you like a list of parts, they will be in the description along with the Amazon affiliate links with all the parts that I have here available. Okay, thank you. Bye.